Hello everyone and welcome, it's Shanna. Now today I'm working on my craft roulette card um, for last week. And this is an old die set that I have. I think it's called Candy Stripes and it was by Simon Hurley. I'm not sure if my if my labeling is right, that's what it is. But I did a search for it on Spellbinders and I don't think it's available anymore. But um, I'm gonna use this to create our I don't know, is it French bulletin board or Victorian bulletin board or whatever that element was of the parameters? Um, because I've had bulletin boards before where they have the lace um, trim that goes um, all the way around. And I see that I didn't die cut this out correctly. So I'm going to lay the um, cover. I, I You need to layer these two because the stripes don't uh, cut out of themselves. So I'm just going to take the um, the outside die, lay it on there and run it back through and then that'll create our, um, it'll cut, cut it away from the rest of the paper. Anyway, um, so I've had bullets and boards where um, you have the uh, st strips of lace around them so that you can just tuck your pictures and your, you know, different little items um, into your bulletin board with the um, strips of ribbon. So this is gonna be my element that is going to um, meet that parameter. Now I'm just gonna die cut it out in white because I wanted it to be two tones and I'm just gonna get it laid down here on my plates and get it die cut out. And then we'll have a real light blue and then a, a white. And I think it was winter dessert uh, was the colors and um, I went with some frosty icing colors with this pink or this blue and this white and I I think I called it, you know, frosty icing or something f to meet the parameters. I kind of stretched it a little bit. Um, but I think this makes a nice little bulletin board uh, simulation. Um, Anyway, so we'll get this laid down on the A2 card base, and I'm actually going to decide to make this a shaker because another element for the parameters was, um, I think, balls or beads. Beads is what it was, and I'm going to use some shaker beads for this, and that will meet that element. So I'm just getting some glue on these little stripes, and, and um, we'll get them glued down. I'm going to reverse them, I think. I think I flip them so that you have a cross pattern with them. So I'm, I'm just going to get it all glued up. And, and I didn't think, I should have actually put the acetate between these two layers and I wouldn't have had to add an additional frame to it. I should have just put some acetate in there and then glued them together and we'd have had um, what we needed for our shaker card, but I, I think I didn't really think about making a shaker until after I already got these glued together. And so I'll have to come up with a creative solution for that. So I'm just going to um, bring in my card, uh, a card backer piece here. And this is where I'm thinking if I want to make a shaker out of this, I'm going to have to go and get a frame to put around it. So I just grabbed some more of that blue paper, took two of my nesting dies and just kind of lined them up on here and I'm gonna run them through my die cutting machine, just trying to get them nice and straight and we'll create a frame. And then we can lay some acetate under the frame and we can make our shaker element. Actually, I think I put the frame on top of this and then I used that frame for um, actually a, a gluing area so that I can glue the acetate and you won't see it from the front. And I do rip it, um, but I still use it and I think I am able to make it work. I just, I was not in the mood to just start over. And so you're gonna get to see all of my little situational things here. So we'll get that laid down. And I'm going to trim off the edge of the side of that so that it doesn't show. And then we'll put our acetate and our, um, I'm just making sure it's going to line up. Then we'll put our acetate on there. 
and we'll fill it with some beads. I've got some Gina K uh, shaker strips and I'm actually going to get them laid down on here and create my well. And I should have put the the acetate in there before I did this, but I just keep pressing on. Um, I don't know what I was doing this evening when I was creating this, but I was just kind of haphazardly putting, it does come together quite cute, and this card has already made its way out of my craft room. My daughter came and was getting some cards that she needed for some upcoming birthdays, and this was one of them that she chose to take. So it's already found a, a home. So this is where I'm going to take, this is a slimline um, cover page, uh, and I'm going to just cut it down. And I'm just eyeballing it. I mean, I'm just really haphazardly going at this. But it, it actually all comes together. And I'm just going to trim off these pieces that you wrap around the card. And I'm going to get a pretty snug fit. And this is actually going to work out. And I just, like I said, I'm not measuring. I'm just eyeballing. I just keep eyeballing it. I thought about trying to measure it with my um, guillotine there, but and we'll just keep eyeballing it and get it cut down. And there's no science to this at all um, this evening. I don't know. I just was kind of going at it and getting it done. And so there, we've got that cut down to where it'll fit in there. Now this has a protective. Um, it's got like a protective covering over the the film, and so I'll have to get it pulled off. And then we'll get it laid down on her. And I'm just carefully laying the glue around that frame so that it won't show on the acetate. And then I'm going to pick off this protective coating on here, just like a film, a light little film of plastic, so it keeps it nice and clear. And we'll get it laid down in there. And so as crazily as I assembled that, um, it actually is going to come out together quite well. And I'm going to trim off the excess strips that are hanging and these are actually Gina K uh, shaker strips. She's designed them specifically for shaker cards. So they're a good, um, pretty good dimension so that you can get some stuff in here. These um, are just some beads from Cat Scrappiness. They're a mix of, uh, I think they're actually called dots. And I'm going to use them for my beaded element on my parameters. And we'll get that laid down on there. Got a tiny little white showing through there, but it'll be okay. And then I'm going to bring in my sentiment. Um, I think I had to have balloons. Yes, balloons was the other element. And so I'm going to bring in my, this is from my advent calendar last year. And I've got some vellum here, and there's just a little tiny balloon. And I'm just going to take the vellum and the balloon and I'll take some more of the blue color that I made the frame with and I'm just going to create a whole bunch of balloons. I decided not to use the um, the string to the balloons um, but I'm going to just I cut a bunch out for this and I was cheating and thought I can get these done a little bit quicker so I just layered up the blue and the vellum and I'm going to go back and forth on them and just cut two at a time out. So I'll have a vellum piece and a balloon piece, and we can get several of these done pretty quickly. And they're wanting to stick to my plate because my plates are well loved. And I'll just do several of these. And then this will meet the balloon element on our card. I think this was like maybe my 76th submission or somewhere, high 70s. I can't exactly remember, but um, yeah, I'm getting up there with them. And so I'm just going to keep going. Now, um, next week and the week after, I'm going to be traveling during the craft roulette. So I think I'll pack a little um, mishmash bunch of stuff that maybe I could make 
some cards with and hopefully meet the parameters of the um, craft roulette so that I can submit them so that I don't um, mess up my string of submissions. I don't think I've missed a craft roulette submission. And so I need to go into my craft room and just kind of select just a mismatched bunch of stuff and hope that perhaps I can create something that'll fit within the parameters of the next two weeks. And then I think I'll be home for a week and then leave, yeah, again. And I, I'll i be on a cruise ship, so I'm not sure I'll be able to make a card for that one. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see how I can... Um, finagle it. Maybe I can finagle it somehow. Anyway, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to get these balloons just laid down on here just to satisfy that element of the parameter. And I'm going to just kind of, you know, intermingle the blue and the vellum ones and just kind of lay them on there and just kind of create a little bit of a design. And then I think I bring in my sentiment and cover up the area where I kind of tore that frame. I think that's what I wind up doing. And I'm just kind of layering them. That part of that was underneath there, so I wanted to poke it up. And for the vellum, I think I'm going to use the tape runner. It won't show as much, and I'm just trying to put a little bit on there. And I'll use the tape runner to lay the vellum down and just kind of strategically place it to where the tape runner doesn't show. So we'll get these laid down on here. And this, I guess this came together pretty quickly. This video is 17 minutes. I don't think I even edited out. I should have edited out some of the dead space, but I didn't. And so I'm going to get my desk cleaned up and <clears throat> figure out what I'm going to do for a sentiment. And then we'll get this card wrapped up. So I'm just holding it up there so you can kind of take a look at how I arranged the balloons on there. And I'm going to use some more of that blue paper that I... Actually, that's the piece that die cut out of the center of that. And this is just a little stamp that says, It's your birthday. And we're going to get this stamp down on this blue piece of paper and then we'll um, get it added to our card. And I'm going to bring in some Gina K Tranquil Till because I thought it matched the beads um, very nicely. The color of it matched the beads very nicely and we'll just kind of have like a two-tone till card with some white on it. And I'm going to double stamp it just uh, maybe triple to get it good and solid. It wasn't stamping very well. There we go. It says, it's your birthday. And I'm just going to bring in one of my little tag dies. This is a nested um, label and tag die from Spellbinders, and there's tons of them. Um, they just go up in size, and I'm just going to bring one in and use it for this card. So we'll just get it lined up, and we'll get it die cut out, and then we'll get it down on our card. And I wanted it to stay centered, so I did bring in the tape. So I'm, I'm notorious for not taping, and um, but since I wanted it to stay centered, I thought I'd better use some tape on it. And there we go. And I think I'm going to position that just to cover up that little area on um, the card that... Um, where I ripped it. Now I'm going to bring in the next size die up, and we're going to layer this. And we're actually going to, I think, punch a hole in it and create a little tag on there. So this is just hammer mill. That's my go-to. And we'll just layer it up. And I'm going to go grab that 
big old honking crocodile that I have. Do you guys have one of those? It's a crop a dial. I always want to say crocodile. This thing's enormous. They have the little handheld ones. And I think that's what I wanted when I asked for it. And then I, it was a gift and um, they actually got this big one. So anyway, I used that to get my little tag center and it'll punch through anything. Um, so two layers is not a problem for this. And I'm just going to bring in, I think I've just got some floss here, just some white floss. I'm going to bring it in and poke it through there and just create a little bow on here. And that'll pretty much finish off this card. I'm just going to try and make it a little bit smaller. Didn't want it to be too big. And we'll just trim it off and we'll get it laid down on there and that'll pretty much finish off this card. So this is my craft roulette card. And I did submit it right away. I took a picture of it, submitted it right away, but I didn't do the voiceover for the video um, for several days. And then I've got this, I realized, I remembered I had these Altenew enamel dots that were in the, in the till color. And I thought it would be nice to add some of those to the tag just to kind of fill up some of that extra space that I've got on there. And I'm just gonna get them laid down on there. And I'm just gonna put five of them on there so I have the odd number, I think. And I, I got one stuck to my craft desk and I'm fighting with it. It's Sometimes when you get them stuck to that glass, you can't get them off of there. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Take care, bye-bye.